For example, if I want to delete anything, just select it, press delete on your keyboard, and you can go ahead and delete that music. I can move it to my trash or just keep the file. So I could just keep them in my media folder if I don't want to fully delete it, or I can just move it to my trash. In this case, I'm gonna move it to my trash. You guys don't have to do that. And actually what I'm gonna do is select all of these plus these down here. So I'm just pressing command on my keyboard and then selecting all of these guys from my music. Let me just zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna press delete. Now I'm not actually pressing command delete, just delete. So here we go, delete. Again, your choice if you would like to keep the files or just move them to trash. I'm gonna go ahead and move them to my trash. And that's how I make sure that only the songs I just added will be there. Now at this point, I can go on into my devices and tap on sync settings. Once I tap on sync settings, this will come up. So this is actually my finder window. And you will see that I have this check mark on. Sync only check songs and videos. Now you may not want that. You may want to just sync everything. In my case, what I want to do is just what I select. Because if I take this off, I know it's going to take a little bit too much. So let's just put that in there. And there's several tabs up here. So you're going to see general music, movies. What we're talking about today is music. So let's just tap on music. And once again, what I want to do is just sync selected artists, albums, playlists. I actually don't want videos. So I'm going to take this check mark off. Again, that's what I'm choosing. You guys can go ahead to the entire library and you can even fill in automatically free space with songs. So you can put that check mark there too. In my case, that's not a good thing. What I have in my list right now is just because what I brought over, I'm gonna put a check mark here, art list. Again, that's just the name of what I've got myself. So right now, right here, you're gonna see artists, albums, or you can select this one or even playlists. For me, it's just albums. That just makes more sense. And I do wanna take everything in. So I'm just going to select everything from here. So I do like to show you guys that you can select whatever you want and not sync your entire library because that might overdo it. All I have to do is at this point is click on apply and it's just going to sync it over. So right now it's transferring this music that I have on my music library into my iPhone. If this was an iPad, it would be exact same instructions and iPod touch. Same deal, exact same instructions. Actually, nothing changes. Now, if you get a message like so, it's exactly because of that. I don't have my music app installed on my device yet. I will later on, but I just want to use the music on other apps. And that's why I'm doing this. But you can go ahead and download the music app. Not everybody's going to see this. If you guys don't see this message, good. That means you already have it installed. Most likely you do. So I'm going to go on and tap on OK. And at this point, I do want to mention that the music app is actually called Apple Music. So if you look at it in the App Store, it's going to be called Apple Music. Just download it. And then later on, you're going to see the little icon. It's just going to say music on it. But as far as this video, we're all done. We just transferred everything that we wanted into our phone. I have my music right there. I'm actually even going to show you that right now. So here's my phone. I'm going to tap on my music app because I just installed it. And let me just close that up. And here's the music under albums. It's only the stuff that I just synced and you guys saw me do it from the computer. And there you go. That's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.